how to create your own floor system. Uh, in the uh, default template that we used, when we go to place a floor, if you click on edit to see what floor types you have available, you see there's a very limited selection. And if we wanted, a, as in the tutorial, uh, a 200 millimeter concrete slab, uh, we would pick on the 400 and say duplicate. So pick the one that's closest to what you've got duplicate and then we'll just get rid of the number two and we'll change it to a 200 millimeter uh, and let's call it concrete concrete slab 200 millimeter is my new name say OK go into edit and we've got function material and thickness you can see the thickness we were gonna alter to 200 to match our title and then material, click on category and it takes us to the uh, material types you can see uh, there are many to choose from uh, there's concrete, uh, I don't like this particular concrete, it's just a base concrete, it's got no um, graphics set up, uh, I like cast in place as far as choosing one I like it because it's already set up it, it renders in a or it shows in a light gray surface pattern uh, I might not want any dots at all so I might go to none for surface pattern uh, and the, the cut pattern I'll leave as concrete hatch so I like that and I'm going to say OK to that so now we've got a concrete slab 200 millimeters and it's between the core boundary la layers and say OK to that and OK so now we're ready to choose our location of that slab. This is, is already default on pick walls so we will walk around our building and choose the walls and I've got it to the interior face depending on your wall system you may want to bring it into the wall into the walls part way uh, again that depends on the s situation so say okay to that and let's should be good. If I highlight it, there is the garage floor. And I'll put it shaded so you can see that there is some concrete in there. And there it is.